Hey, Jason Palliser here. And in this video, we're going to talk about, do I need a real estate license to wholesale real estate? Been training and teaching for 25 years. I get asked this question all the time. It drives me crazy. Okay, uh, everybody said, you know, I was thinking, you know, uh, I'm getting ready to start investing or, or they meet me through one of the big entities or whatever TV shows that I speak for. It doesn't matter. And they're like, yeah, you know, I'm also on the side. It's like a they pull me aside. It's funny to me. It's like a drug deal. Hey, come here, come here. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm also thinking about getting my real estate license. And I'm so, it, there's no way that I can go through a two or three day training speaking for big entities um, where that does not come up for discussion. So we're going to break that down here in, in today's video. And, and real quick, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the button. So the next time we drop good stuff, you automatically get it, right? It's, as a responsible business owner, it's probably something you should do. And because uh, I I was told off camera, just, just to kind of fill you in, I was told off camera, dude, you go straight in like a machine gun and start pounding out content. And you get straight to the point. I'm not doing fluffy. Hey, do this and do real estate. And let's go buy an island together. And I, I'm not talking about any of that stuff. Uh, I want to get into the nitty gritty ASAP. So enjoy the rest of the channel. Uh, we're here to help you move the needle as far as your real estate investment goes. And, and we're going to be unapologetic to, to how we kick the crap out of everybody else in town. Okay. <laughs> Mike's laughing. It's just who I am. I can't change who I am. That's, that's yeah. I can't, can't, can't hold back. So let's talk about this. Do I need a real estate license to wholesale real estate? So there's varying, opi varying opinions on it. And, uh, uh you know, I'm just simply going to, th this, this will probably be a little shorter training video for everybody. Cause even though we're on YouTube, it's, it's, I'm training you. Okay. And, uh, if you've watched any other videos, so we're gonna do pros and cons. Uh, I'll start with, uh, what most people, yeah, I'm thinking about getting my real estate license. So let's go that route first about getting your license. Cause I don't think that you need to, or should. Um, but, but let's just, let's just have that discussion and lay everything out on the table. Uh, so most people that I've talked to and trained over the years say, yeah, I was thinking about getting my license almost whether they are or not that, I was thinking about getting my license. So here's what I would say on that. Does it give you a little bit of an advantage? Sure. From this standpoint, we always teach some will, some won't, who cares? You're going to find some homeowners that are ready to sell. You're going to find some homeowners that are unrealistic on price. Those are the some won't, who cares? The reason we don't care is that when we do a blueprint in Suffocated City 30 different ways, uh, there's going to be so many leads coming in that we don't have time to care about that. So some will, some won't, who cares? But here's the thing. If you have a real estate uh, if you have your real estate agent's license, then the some won't who aren't ready to sell um, at a number that works for you as an investor, then as a realtor, you can fall back on, well, hey, I, I know where I'm at on price, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I could list the property for you, right? So as a real estate agent, you go that direction. It's another way to potentially generate some revenue, right? And again, we'll talk about some pros and cons in a second, but do you need that license to wholesale a piece of real estate? No. I'm going to say it differently this time. You guys ready? Gals ready at home? No, you don't need to. Uh, you don't need to have a real estate license to wholesale, uh, to wholesale a piece of real estate. Um, all you need is two parties to agree, a homeowner to agree to sell to you at a price, uh, whether you, you as an individual, or you don't even need to have an LLC to still complete a transaction. And then if you're going to wholesale it, you're going to sell it to somebody else. So you can either... Um, write a new contract to sell it over to them. So two separate contracts or just write a contract and then write an assignment, uh, one page assignment over to that end buyer that has nothing to do with you needing a real estate agent's license to do that, right? So I get all the time, uh, I'm thinking about getting my license. Is it really necessary? What do you think? What are your thoughts? And um, so the real answer is, is that you don't need a real estate license to wholesale the next thousand properties that you that you locate uh, where you're a solution for a homeowner and somebody else on the back end said, hey, thanks for that hard work up front. I want to buy that contract off of you. Uh, not needed whatsoever. Again, now the pros and cons of should you, shouldn't you, just as real estate investment in general uh, with a little slant towards wholesaling. Uh, here's what I would tell you. If you do have your agent's license, then if they're unreasonable, then you could list it for them. And then hopefully... I said, well, if you list it for them, you'll make a little bit of money, right? Um, you know, two, 3% real estate commission. If you double dip because you get both sides of the transaction, maybe 6%, right? Uh, that's, that's one thing. But hear me out. Okay, you listening? 
Hear me out. Yes, that's a benefit to, to you. But Jason, hey, if I have a real estate agent's license, I can pull comps. Um, we, te we, we teach a two-day blueprint. Like we teach a section called data doesn't lie. Data tells the truth. So thousands of transactions in, I can solve that in your brain. And if you need help with that, comment below. Hey, uh, you know what? I would really love to be able to analyze a deal in 10 seconds flat. Um, you don't, That has nothing to do with you having access to the MLS and running comps. Comps are nice. Comps are good. There's services out there right now that they can help you do that. Um, but one benefit to having your real estate license is that, yes, you can run some comps and, and do all that fun stuff. Fine and dandy. But now let's talk about, uh, I've already established that you don't need it, okay, to wholesale a thousand different properties. Uh, but let's talk about some advantages of not having your real estate agent's license when it comes to unloading properties. When you don't have your real estate agent's license, you can write a contract and sell a property as is, okay? Sell a property as is with no disclosure, okay? No seller disclosure. What do you have to do if you have a real estate agent's license? Maybe you don't even know this yet. A lot of you do, some of you don't. Um, especially if you're brand new, then uh, uh, pay attention. Even if you've been doing it a while, you know, uh, just replant this in your brain. It's a responsibility of a real estate agent to disclose everything that they know about a property, right? So if you know that uh, if you know that the basement leaks every time it rains, you have to disclose that. As a real estate investment investor professional that doesn't have a real estate agent's license, you don't have to disclose that because the end person that's buying it from you is going to write a contract to buy it from you and, and they're going to probably put an inspection window in there and they have to uncover uh, everything about the property during their inspection window. It's uh, The burden's on them, not you. But when you're a real estate agent, it's your responsibility or what they call your fiduciary responsibility to uh, disclose everything that you know about the property. Okay. And um, so that's vastly different. That that could cause you that could cause you to lose transactions. If um, if you don't have to disclose that the basement leaks, it's it's on the end buyer to do their you know to go through the basement and see if there's any. They it's the it's also their right to come back to you and ask you questions about it, right? But you don't have to disclose it. As an agent, you do. That could hurt your transaction. That could cause you to lose lots of transactions. So that's just one thing that's a negative uh, a negative versus whether you have your license or don't have your license. So hopefully that makes sense to you. We want to make sure that you understand that. And um, here's another pro to not having your license or needing your license to wholesale real estate and do real estate transactions. And this may be a little ticky tacky, but guess what? The truth's the truth. You understand that once you, once you get your agent's license, you're going to have to hang your license somewhere. And depending on where you hang your license at, at a broker's office, whether it's a big national conglomerate, and I'm not going to name names, you could name off tons of them. I'm not going to give them street cred. Um, so big, whether it's a big company or just a mom and pop brokerage, a lot of them have fees. You have to rent a desk. There's 400 a month. Uh, you have to pay for MLS access. There's anywhere from 40 to $100 a month. Oh, you have to do continuing education to remind yourself of what you already know because they put things in place to do continuing education. Hey, don't forget that you have fiduciary response. Hey, don't forget that you have to present every contract written to the homeowner. They're going to, so you just have to sit in class once a year for 48 hours or 24 hours and get your recertification. All that stuff costs money, right? And uh, so some of them, and you would find this out the hard way, oh, I'm going to get my license and then yeah, I'll pay those fees. But then uh, when I go and unload this transaction, uh, sometimes I'm just going to do, you know, just a no fee listing. Mm -hmm. Well, you better look long and hard and, and find the right, uh, the right brokerage that allow you to do that because most of them won't allow you to do that. So now all of a sudden you have all these rules in place and all of a sudden all this red tapes in place and it makes it a lot harder for you to run a, a true investment business wearing your realtor's hat. Okay. You don't have those things when you're uh, not a licensed real estate agent. So these are just some things for you to think about. Okay. And uh, so it's also a feather in your cap when you're talking to a homeowner, because sometimes homeowners are like, well, I talked to an agent. I'm like, there, there's several things. And again, we teach you, we have 30 things to spray off on that part of the conversation. <laughs> if that makes sense to you, like, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, what I mean is this, just one example is, 
Well, homeowners are like, well, you know, I was going to talk to a realtor. Hey, yeah, that's fine. I want you to talk to as many. I want you to feel comfortable working with me. There's lots of things that we do that real estate agents don't do. Um, like we'll help you move. Real estate agents typically don't. Uh, we're not going to have you sign 50 different disclosures and pieces of paper because when realtors do that, they do that because they've been told to by their brokers and their, their realtor association because that's a level of protection most of the time for them. Not for you as the homeowner. When we buy from you, we don't we don't have any red tape, like literally straight, easy, straightforward contract. So there's some pros and cons. I already told you you don't need it. So now I'm just getting into the... Uh, into the nitty gritty with you on, on different reasons why you can be more of benefit as a non-licensed real estate agent. Uh, when we do, when we do things like that, we tell them, so we have 30 different things that we tell them. And basically we just present them with a sheet. Hey, here are things that we do that a realtor can't do. Here are things that we do that a realtor doesn't do. Right. And again, I'm not saying not to be a realtor by any stretch of the imagination, do whatever you think's best for you. And there are, I already went over a couple of things that could be a pro for you doing that, but by and large, um, it makes it real easy for me to go up against a realtor and win a contract uh, with a seller and be in a better solution for them when we have 30 different ways that we can uh, we can show them that we be a benefit to them uh, versus other people. And again, I, I'm not going to go all day and get, get into that from start to finish, but I just wanted to establish, okay? That's why you're here to do things at a higher level, okay? I just wanted to establish with you that with certainty, you don't need to be a real estate agent to wholesale a thousand different real estate um, transactions that you uncover and do. Um, there are a couple pros, uh, but mostly from time investment, continuing education, monthly fees, this and that, and do's and don'ts at your brokerage office. And for the love of all things holy, mandatory meetings. Uh, do you think, I, do I look suited for mandatory meetings? Are you kidding me? And uh, so if I, if I had 1% input, they're off camera going, <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a uh, human resource. How not to. Okay. Um, so I don't want all those rules and regulations. I want to go out and do my job, do it well, uh, present why it's a good idea to work with us as an investor and, uh, and win those contracts and be a solution for homeowners. And uh, so what I would tell you is that hopefully this here is kind of giving you, um, giving you the platform to make an intelligent decision with what you want to do, but by no means whatsoever do you need that, okay? You do not need a license to wholesale real estate. So as I said before, subscribe to our channel, click the bell because we're going to drop some more good stuff for you. And please do me a favor. Um, if you're liking the content that we put together for you, do me a favor, share this with other people, share it in your Facebook groups, share it in your LinkedIn groups, share it in your meetup groups, Say, hey, here's some crazy son of a gun and, and his compadres that are teaching you some stuff that uh, most people get flowery and they talk about um, lifestyle and this. And I do that every once in a while, but I like to get down to brass tacks. So uh, hopefully this impacts you and, and helps you make an easy decision when you're deciding what to do with uh, with regards to wholesaling real estate license versus non being non-licensed. Uh, I think you know which way I'm slanted towards, but make your own personal decisions. We're here to help you. Like I said, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We'll, we'll, we'll answer them for you. And if you want some more information on our two-day blueprints that we do uh, to show you how to take over a city, just go to the number two dayblueprint.com. See what other people on the site say about us. See all the things that we do to help you run a business like a machine for the next 10 to 15 years and schedule a call so we can talk to you specifically about what you want to do, the type of investing in your city and what we can do to make a real impact on your business. This doesn't have to be hard. It just simply has to be done on purpose. So, Jason Palliser here signing off. See you next time.